in the back. Oh shit, said Ryan, realizing that he and his mates were, essentially, exchanging fire while sitting on top of a powder keg. Aldarkur is wiring an IED to blow the back wall. If he gets it right, it should make us a hole in the back of the building. When it's time to go, just turn and run up the hallway. I'll cover your regress. Jack didn't ask what would happen if Muhammad did not get it right. Dean next said, Do not head out back until you toss your LZ beacons. The door gunner in the Puma has been rocking his MG for the past 10 minutes. Don't count on him to spot the IR strobe on your back. He'll turn you into ground beef. Use your LZ marker as a second way to alert them that friendlies are coming out. The two young men nodded. Sam and the Afghan will drag the wounded man. You guys just keep up the covering fire for them until the chopper lands and they get on board. Got it, Dom said, and Ryan nodded. Both Ryan and Caruso kept up the controlled fire, just enough to let the enemy know that if they ventured up the hall toward the T, then they were going to pay a heavy price. They still took some fire, but it came from AKs that were just held around the corner and sprayed by their handlers, and the rounds banged along the walls, floors, and ceiling. Twice, Aldarkur and Chavez passed behind them as they took IED material out of the bomb factory on Jack and Dom's right and carried it to the other end of the hallway on their left. Within a minute, Chavez was back behind them. He screamed into their ears, Get down! This is the end of disc number 11. Please in... Now, 